This sign is up on one of the trailers over at John Forrest Racing in the pits, apologizing that John and Ashley are not here. John, of course, is hospitalized in Dallas. Ashley is staying there with him, in part because her car did not yet have the new safety modifications that John Medlin had invented after this accident in Dallas two weeks ago. This was a second-round matchup with Kenny Bernstein. John Forrest on the right side of your screen. The tire goes away, the back of the chassis breaks off, and when the chutes deploy, it pulls the back of the chassis right off and you saw the front of the chassis just sliding down the wall. Take another look at it. Kenny Burns, he's actually going to knock the blocks out. And then you see the devastation as the right side of your screen as it goes out of the picture. That was John careening over into that left side guard wall. And John Force, after the accident, was cut out of his car and then airlifted to Dallas Hospital. He had uh, numerous injuries, though, thank goodness, none of them were life-threatening. And today, his doctor told us that uh, their biggest problem is just slowing him down a little bit. So we had the chance earlier today by satellite to talk with John Force. Here's that interview. Well, we're hooked up by satellite now with Dallas and the Baylor Hospital and John Force and Ashley Force. Let me start by telling you both you are really missed here today. And John Force, how are you? I'm really fine, Paul. I've got great uh, doctors here. Uh, Mr. Jones and, and Miss Wilson, they're taking uh, very good care of me, got my mind right, got me on track because I was trying to go one direction, and they know what it takes to heal here at Baylor Hospital. And uh, what I've been through in the last two weeks, nobody should go through this. And I'm just, I'm excited that I'm in good hands and that my family's all around me. Well, John, we really wanted you to get back as quick as possible, but obviously we want you well when you do get back. What is the future looking like for you and for Ashley right now? Well, She'll be back before me. You know, when we lost Eric, it wasn't just about winning a championship. It was about technology and safety for the future. And we even wrote up what we called the catastrophic plan because I never thought it would happen again. And my crew chiefs, Austin and Bernie and John Medlin, Jimmy Proc, Dean Antonelli, they all said, let's have a plan for the unknown. And when I crashed, I only remember them pulling me out of the car and I knew I was hurt serious. And, and I only heard them, me saying to my guys, go to the plan. And the plan was get up everything that you've got, get me to the hospital, get me secure, but go into all the things that we didn't know with Eric of building a better race car, securing the families, and to move ahead because racing's all that we know. And, and my boys did. I, if oh, anything God. I've ever been proud of in a championship, I don't want to say it doesn't mean nothing because the countdown does mean something. I'm sad not to be in it, but I'm telling you, the next calls I got, it was four days before I could even communicate, but what, that made any sense. But my guys were telling me my cars were at Murph McKinney's the Ford engineers were there. They were working with everyone that was involved with Eric to build a race car. We knew how to save the head injury. Maybe not totally, but it's a whole lot better because it, it didn't hurt my head at all. But now they got to save the arms and legs. And to put a race car back in time to, in two weeks to go what they went through and to deliver that car that could qualify and make this show and stay in this countdown that we're all praying that we keep one of these Fords in. It's important for Castrol and AAA and, 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 and Brand Source and Mach 1 Air for everybody for us to be in this show. They spent millions on us and, and we're going to be there and Ashley's going to get back first to help. Hopefully Mike Neff because we know the car will go A to B and that's what I'm proudest of most of what my team and, every, and, and, and everyone around them accomplished was give a car that I could set and watch it on TV, the qualifying, that Robert was safe and to help other kids.
Uh, John, I know your energy level is something you have to worry about a great deal here, and you're on medication. We don't want to push you too hard uh, with this interview, but I, I would like to ask you, of the accident itself, what can you remember? Um, still scares me. You laugh. They, they want to joke you're Superman, but you're not. When you're here in this hospital and you cry out to people to take away the pain, you really know what it really means. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm ready to make those calls to people that need help. I know a lot of times I got overburdened and I felt, why was it my job? But those calls and the love they give you, because it's all you got. I remember knowing that Kenny is killing everybody on the lights. And I remember staging and looking at Austin and he looked over and he walked away and that's all I remember. The next scene that came to mind was is they were cutting my leg, my pants, and I could see the bones sticking out, which really terrified me. Um, um, I heard Austin hugging me and telling me that he loved me and, and I knew they were all scared. And, and I wanted to know if I won. I know that sounds dumb at the time, but that was important. And that Kenny Bernstein was okay. Uh, and, and I remember Safety Safari and my own kid, the fireman that helps, and Safety Safari, I felt, I felt secure. Like, if I was gonna go, I, I just felt I was in the right place to go. Because you don't know, and I know so many have been through it, and it's been so worse for others, and I was really lucky. But I felt I was in good hands with God, and I felt that I had the best people around me, and, and, and they were all scared for me, and I felt so bad for them. But when they, uh, when they put me in that helicopter, it's so important, guys, That's our next that we have the safety at the track. That NHRA works with pro and we work harder because that's all a driver's got. Until you've lived it, you've been there, Mike. You've lived it. And they're all that you've got. It's all you got. Well, and I just want to thank every one of them for being there for me. And I'm going to spend every penny I can find to help them to build cars so we can stop some of this. It's a good race car. God bless them, but they can, anything can be better. And my little girl's going to be back in Vegas, and I'm believing now we're on the right track. Well, Ashley, I mean, you've obviously thought about nothing since the accident except your father, but you have to go back to Dallas realizing that you had a very good race car, good opportunity to get your first win. How are you going to feel getting back into that race car in Las Vegas? Well, I really miss my team, number one. Um, you know, they become a family. They're like brothers to me. And, and to be apart from them for so many weeks, to leave, you know, I threw all my gear in the trailer after um, Dad's wreck, and they were right there. We'll clean everything up. We'll get everything taken care of. You just go be with your dad. And, and it, it really, you know, showed what a great team we have. But I'm excited to get back out there because I want to support Robert and help him. And it, it's been so hard to be only watching the race on TV for both dad and I um, for so many years you know we've been right there at the track being involved in it I know it's a lot harder for him because he's a lot more years out there but I'm excited to get back in Vegas I feel very confident in you know the changes that that all these teams are making um, to make these cars safer and you can only make them safer when you learn from accidents and what dad went through you know thank God that that he got through it and we've learned so much from it and already so much from Eric's accident has saved dad so um, Guido my crew chief has been keeping me in touch sending us pictures online of all the changes that they were making um, and we'll just keep pushing toward to make that better car well actually we look forward to seeing you back as soon as possible and John Force uh, get well buddy we thank you for spending the time with us we know that's uh, actually a pretty big imposition for you in the hospital and thanks to everybody at Baylor for making it possible and for getting you well we'll see you soon John yeah I had friends presidents flew to see me from Auto Club and Ford and, and Mac and it was just a lot of people really cared I'm I love my job I'm proud to do it and I really want to come back because it's the only place we know 
that we want to be our family at JFR. So just thank the fans and the letters. And, and I know we haven't got to them, but we're going to be fine. We're in good hands. And we just hope to see you all real soon. The fans are waiting for you, John and Ashley Force. We are too. Thanks for the time. Thank you. By satellite earlier from the Baylor Institute for Rehabilitation, we hope John gets back very, very quickly.